got turned into babies and the mutant creeper is coming to take us. Uh, we need to grow up and catch different Pokemon to take down the mutants. But how in the world are we going to catch Pokemon? We're doomed. We'll need to build different Pokemon areas based on the different elements. Once each build is complete, we'll age up and the Pokemon will spawn in. Wait, that's so cool. What Pokemon element are we working on first? Let's get started on the fire area. What should we build that super fiery, guys? Uh, oh, oh, I know. A volcano. Oh, are you sure? A volcano is safe for a bunch of babies. Of course it is. Let me just go over here and we can just grab the materials for a volcano. We need to make sure this volcano is huge, guys. Yay, volcano! Whoa, this volcano's looking really big. Well, we're gonna need to make sure it has everything inside. That way, all the fire Pokemon can spawn in. Fire Pokemon are actually some of the strongest. Really? Then what's your favorite fire Pokemon, Mongo? My favorite fire Pokemon is Charmander. He's so cute and awesome. Charmander is really cute, but I think Growlithe is cute. Because it's a doggy. Guys, I think Pikachu is cuter than all of those. Wait, what? Pikachu is not a fire type, Pluto. What are you talking about? Uh, oh, sorry. I didn't know. Okay, while you guys work on this volcano, what I'm gonna do is start building inside, guys. Whoa, what are you gonna build inside? Well, I'm gonna start off by making a lava waterfall. All the fire type Pokemon's love lava and all hot things so we need to make sure all those things are inside here yay i'm gonna jump in this lava wait a second axie you shouldn't jump in you're not a fire type pokemon but what if i want to be a fire type pokemon oh my gosh you're really acting like a baby right now but wait a second i just realized we are babies so come on guys we need to finish this area so we can age up already yeah I want to get super old and be the best Pokemon trainer in the universe. Okay, Axie. The only way that's going to happen is if we get the fire type Pokemon. So come on, help me out with the design a little bit. I'm going to place down some tables over here so we can eat some super spicy food. And so we can feed the Pokemon too. Hey, Mongo. What if we feed Wudo some really spicy food? Oh my gosh, that would be hilarious. Come on. I'm gonna get some chili peppers and some burritos. Burritos? Are you sure you wanna put that in his stomach? Axie, once he eats this, he's gonna explode. He'll probably turn into a fire-type Pokemon. Hey, are you guys talking about me? No. Of course not, Mudo. We're just working on the inside. Come on, Axie. Let's add some more fiery themed stuff. The fire Pokemon love to play and fly around. So I'm gonna add a big trampoline over here. Yay! Bling, bling, bling. This is so awesome. What do you think we're missing inside of here, Axie? Well, Mongo, we're gonna get all sweaty in this volcano. We need a bathing area. Oh, yeah. How could I forget? All of the fire-type Pokemons probably bathe all day in super-duper cozy hot water. Hey, guys. I know how we can make that area. We can use real lava. How about you start pouring lava from the top, guys? Oh, wait. Wudo, did you finish the volcano? Yeah, come look! All right, let me take a look real quick. And oh my goodness, this is the craziest looking volcano ever. Let's pour all the lava at the top, guys. Pour it! I hope it doesn't 
doesn't melt us. Well, you don't need to worry about that, Axie. As long as the fire type Pokemon spawn in, we'll be all safe and secure. Whatever you say, Mongo. I just don't want to become Axolotl still. Whoa, check it out. The lava is pouring down. This volcano looks absolutely insane. But while the lava is pouring down, let's go on the inside and finish the inside. Yeah, we still need our hot spring that we can relax in. Exactly. So check it out over here, Axie. I'm placing down some super duper hot water for all of the fire Pokemon. Wow, this is so nice, Mongo. I could just sit here forever. Axie, are you sure you can swim as a baby? Uh, wait, I can't. I forgot. Oh my gosh, let me pick you up real quick. You need to be careful, Axie. We're still babies, you know. Yeah, but I just really wanted to take a nice bath. Okay, you'll get to take a bath later on. Don't worry about it. Come on, we need to finish this volcano by adding some parkour jumps that go up to the top. That way, all of the fire-type Pokemons can actually go to the top and look over everything. Oh, Parkour is so hard when you're a short little baby. Oh my gosh, you're right, Axie. We just need to train harder. These Pokemon are gonna be super strong. If we don't know how to control them, they'll eat us. They'll eat us? Really? Yeah, didn't you know that that's what Pokemons do? That is so messed up, Mongo. I thought that's what axolotls do. Yeah, we eat people too, but that's normal. Axie, that is not normal. What in the world are you talking about? Check it out. I just added this parkour jump, and all we need to do is add a few more, and we'll be at the top. Yay! I love doing parkour over a dangerous volcano as a baby. What in the world? That sounds crazy when you say it like that, Axie. That's because it is crazy, Mongo. Oh, well, check it out. We're almost at the top, Axie. Keep going. But guys, is fire the only type of Pokemon? I think water Pokemon are cool too. Water Pokemon are super awesome. The fire ones are super duper strong. I like the grass type Pokemon the best. Well, I think fire is better than grass. No way, Mongo. I challenge you to a battle later. Oh my gosh. Everyone watching the video knows that fire is better than grass. Everyone comment your favorite Pokemon element. You better comment fire. No, comment water. No, comment grass. Okay, guys, check it out. We're basically at the top now. This volcano looks so epic from the top. I know, right, Mongo? Look at the smoke on top coming out of it. This is like the coolest volcano ever. Exactly. But since we're done with this volcano, does it mean the fire Pokemon are going to spawn in? I think so, Mongo. Wait a second. What's happening? Wait, Mongo, look. There's some Pokemon. Wait a second. A Charizard, a Growlithe, and a Flareon spawned. In. I'm catching the Growlithe! I want the Flareon Pokemon Go! Wait, what? You guys already captured your Pokemons? Okay, Charizard, you're mine! Let me just get a Master Ball real quick, and I choose you, Charizard! Oh my gosh, come on, please capture! Mongo, a Master Ball can't fail, but your Charizard is way less cute than my Flareon! No way! It doesn't matter if my Charizard isn't cute, my Charizard could defeat your Flareon in a battle! Oh yeah, Mongo? You wanna fight? That's right, Axie. I'm gonna totally get you. Go, Flareon. You take down. Guys, stop fighting. We're friends. We're not supposed to fight. No, we have to fight. And I'm gonna destroy Mongo. No! Oh, no. My Charizard fainted. Do you want to know what that means, guys? What does it mean? The fire Pokemon just aren't strong enough. We need something even stronger to take down that mutant creeper. Yeah, Mongo, you're right. But make sure you heal your Charizard. Okay, but wait a second. What's happening? <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait a second. Guys, I think we aged up. Uh, oh, why do I look like this? Uh, I think you got a weird growth spurt. Wait a second. You went from being a baby to being a little kid. Is this how you looked like when you were a kid, Wudo? Um, no. Oh, my gosh. Well, it doesn't matter, guys. Come on. We need to go over here to work on the water area. And I think I have the perfect thing for it. You do? <laughs> Is it a big bathroom? No, it's not, Axie. Let me just do this. And boom. Check it out, guys. I spawned in a giant aquarium for the water area. Oh, my gosh. This place is huge. Look at this big tank on the top. We could have so many animals in here. Exactly, Axie. I definitely think the water type Pokemons are gonna be super duper effective against the mutant creepers. Remember, mutant creepers can't explode in water. So if we get the strongest water type Pokemon, we'll survive. You're right, Mongo. Let's go. Then we need to get to it. If we're gonna have a water area, we need to make sure it looks like the entire ocean. That way, the water type Pokemon feel really comfortable and spawn in. That's right, Mongo. But how do we make this look more like the ocean? Well, I'm starting off by placing down a bunch of corals because corals are some of the natural living things inside of the ocean. Oh, then I'm gonna add kelp. Wow, kelp is a great idea. What are you adding, Wudo? I'm gonna add some extra corals too. Oh, wow. Nice. Nothing original. Oh my gosh. But I love coral. Yay! Wudo, how about you start spawning in some fishies so the water type Pokemons don't get lonely? Oh, how about these? Wait a second. What in the world are those things? They're cute little fishies. This one looks like a pickle. I don't know if the word cute is the right one, Wudo. And why would we have a pickle fish? Because we can eat it. I think the only cute looking fish in here is this puffer fish. If you guys think this puffer fish looks cute, then hit that subscribe button right now. We're getting really close to a million subscribers. Subscribe, but that puffer fish kind of looks like you, Mongo. Wait, what? No, it doesn't, Axie. It looks Looks like a baby Axie, if anything. What? No way. But come on, guys. We can't just have a bunch of different fishies inside of this tank. What we need to do is add a bunch of fun things, too. Like what? Well, no one would ever expect a bunch of arcade machines down here. So we should add a bunch of these. That way, our water-type Pokemon can have fun in the water. Whoa. I didn't know they made waterproof arcade machines. Well, they make it specifically for the water Pokemon, Axie. Awesome! But that's not enough fun, Mongo. The water Pokemon are still gonna be bored. Wait a second. You're right. What else should we add? Uh, maybe some kind of game they can play? Oh, you're right, Axie. What if we add an area where the water type Pokemon can practice their aim? I really hope a really cool water type Pokemon spawns in. I wouldn't mind a Squirtle. Squirtles are cute, Mongo, but Vaporeon is the cutest water type ever. No way, Axie. Do you only like the Eevee evolutions? Oh, yeah, basically. Oh, my gosh. That's so silly. Look at this aquarium so far, though, guys. It looks absolutely amazing. I think there's only one more thing we need to add, and that's a huge diving board so we can dive in. Yay! Ooh, I want to go diving. Exactly. Who doesn't want to go diving? It's like the best thing ever. So what I'm going to do is make a huge diving board that goes all the way up to the sky. Whoa. Why does it have to be red, though? Because red is the best color in the world, of course. That is not true, Mongo. Boo! Not true. Okay, guys. Come on. You don't need to bring your personal colors into this. Let's just keep it at red, okay? Fine. But the next thing's 
gonna be pink. Check it out, Axie. We can now dive all the way down. We. I'm diving. Are you guys ready? One, two, three. Yeah. Oh gosh, a huge explosion is about to happen. <laughs> No, obviously not, Mongo. But wait a second, guys. Speaking of the color pink, what we can do is actually replace this wood over here to be pink. Right now, this aquarium looks super boring. Oh, that looks awesome. Hey, what about the color green? Okay, Wudo. I know that there's a few people in the world, maybe like three people, that like the color green. So I'll add a green part to check it out uh, what do you mean there's like billions of people that like green you can't just add this little itty bitty sliver yes i can budo check it out now it's pink red and green and there's a bunch of fishies everywhere which means the water type pokemon should spawn in and <coughs> Wait a second, guys. Why do I suddenly feel much older and much smarter? Oh my gosh. I've become the CEO of a billion dollar company. Oh my gosh. I've become a professional plumber. Wait a second, guys. I think we're adults now. That is so awesome. We aged because we built this aquarium. But wait a second. Speaking of the aquarium, there should be some Pokemon in here. And oh my gosh. I see a a Porion. But wait a second. Is there a Squirtle anywhere? And hey, I see a Squirtle too. Uh, hey, I see a Magikarp. Wait, what? A Magikarp? Are you serious, Wudo? Uh, yeah, that's like the greatest Pokemon ever. No, it's not, Wudo. Vaporeon's way better. And I'm gonna catch one. No, I'm gonna catch my Squirtle. Where in the world did he go? And look, he's so cute. Come here, Squirtle. I need to catch Catch you! Oh gosh, he's trying to run away. Uh, Magikarp, come here! Whoa, guys, check it out. I just got my Squirtle, and it's way better than the Magikarp Wudo guys. Uh, oh yeah, this isn't just Magikarp anymore. It's a level 100 Gyarados. What in the world? That's so scary! Who wants to battle? Oh my goodness, your Gyarados turned into a level 100 Gyarados, and I thought it was just a magic carp. Okay, Budo, I'll battle you, even though I don't know if I'm gonna win. Ha, <laughs> Mongo, get ready to lose. Oh my gosh, Budo, I am not losing, okay? All I need to do is just press fight, and you're going down. Oh gosh, I'm gonna fight. Rawr. Um, Budo, I... I just spawned in my Squirtle, and I'm gonna take you down with the Squirtle. No, you're not! I'm taking out the Gyarados. Wait, what? You're really taking out the Gyarados? You know what? I bet I can still take you down, and hey, you took me out so easily. Uh <laughs> Your little squirrel fainted. Give up. Oh, no. I'm going to fight you with my Charizard. I bet I can totally destroy you. Uh, nope. Your Charizard died. I win. Wow, Mongo. Looks like Wudo's the Pokemon Master now. <laughs> Not just the Pokemon Master, but the Pokemon Boss. Oh, gosh, this is not good, guys. I'm afraid the water-type Pokemon just aren't strong enough. Mudo, you're the only one with a good water-type. We need something else that can take down that mutant. Well, we could try and spawn in my favorite type, the grass-type. Wait a second. That's a great idea, Axie. Look, the next area is actually a grass-type area. And what I can do is a simple command real quick. That's going to spawn in a huge grass cafe. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. That is a lot of grass. Exactly, guys. Come on. We need to make sure this area is ready for our grass type Pokemon. They're going to be the strongest Pokemon yet. That's 
That's right, Mongo. But how do we prepare for the grass type Pokemon? Do we just spawn in a bunch of trees? Well, I'm gonna spawn in a bunch of trees outside. That way, there's a bunch of different forests and stuff. And the grass type are gonna feel really, really comfortable to spawn in. But we also need to make sure the inside of the grass cafe is good. Because that's where they're gonna get OP and super duper big and cool. Yeah, Mongo. That's true. We need to make sure everything is perfect. Yup, let me just spawn in my Pokemon over here so they can help me build. Hi, Squirtle. Squirtle. Mongo, your Pokemon aren't as helpful as mine. Wait, what? Your Pokemon are just running around. They're not even helping, Axie. They're here for moral support. What in the world? I bet Wudo's Gyarados is here to haunt us. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And he might eat you guys. Oh my gosh, how did Wudo become the most overpowered. I am just the strongest. That's not fair. Wudo, you literally thought a Magikarp was strong. Exactly. Well, the Magikarp turned to Gyarados. It's not my fault, you guys are noobs. He is pretty right, Axie. We didn't even realize that it would turn into that. Yeah. Whoa, Mongo. All we can do is try to catch stronger Pokemon this time. Exactly. As adults, we can't regret the past. We need to keep moving forward. Who's with me? I'm with you. Hooray! What in the world is wrong with you guys? You guys definitely sound like you have jobs and you guys are serious adults. <laughs> I am a very serious adult. Okay, but guys, look, the outside forest area is done. So come on, let's go inside and put down a bunch of grass type food. What kind of food do grass Pokemon eat? Probably berries and stuff, right? That's a great question, Axie. You see, adults actually eat a lot like the grass type Pokemon. Ew, you want me to eat? That stuff too? That's right. We're gonna eat salads and eggs. Oh, no. Nah. Get me out this place. What do you mean, Budo? This is the best type of food to eat. No way, Mongo. This is food for the Pokemon, not for an axolotl. Okay, well, what do axolotls eat? Spawn it in over here. Well, we eat this little stew that I like to call axolotl worm stew. What in the world, Axie? There is there's no absolute way we can feed this to the grass type Pokemon. Uh, Mongo, I wouldn't feed it to them even if I could. It's all for me. Wait, what? You're gonna eat it? Oh my goodness, Axie. I should have known. That's right, Mongo. I'm an adult, so I need like five tables of food to feed myself. Okay, but wait a second, Axie. I just realized we probably need to add a bunch of grass decorations inside of this place. That way the grass type Pokemon feel more comfortable. What I'm gonna do is put a bunch of different vines everywhere. Oh yeah, that's a great idea. I'll also put up some green things. Hey, I kind of like this area, guys. It looks so green and cool. Oh gosh, now that you mention it, Wudo, it is super green. Maybe I should dislike this area now. Ah! Don't dislike it. I think all the Pokemon will really enjoy coming here because it's green. Well, yeah, the grass type Pokemon are gonna love it, but I know my red orange Charizard over here definitely hates it. Look, he's trying to fly away. Yeah, my Flareon also doesn't like it either. Well, no one cares. Haha. <laughs> Budo, we care, okay? But check it out. With all of these things added on, the cafe is pretty much done, which means the grass type Pokemon should be spawning guys wait, wait really, really Mongo? Mongo? and wait look something's happening <coughs> wait a second guys why does my back suddenly really hurt uh, oh gosh i feel so old oh goodness me what happened oh no Budo, you look the oldest out of all of us uh, what oh no why do i look like this Oh, guys, we gotta take our old backs and make our way over to the grass Pokemon that spawned. Oh, gosh, check it out. There's a Venusaur, a Leafeon, and wait a second. Mudo, I think there's another Pokemon for you over here. It's called a Turtwig. A what? A Turtwig, bro. I can't hear you. A banana? No, a Turtwig. Oh, okay, I'm gonna catch it. Uh, 
I'm going to catch this leafy on. Wait a second. Did you just fart while catching your Pokemon? Ugh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Hold on a second. I'm about to capture my Venusaur. It's the highest evolution of the Bulbasaur. Well, Mongo, you know so much in your old age. Exactly. But since I'm so old, I'm so wise. And a wise man knows that a grass Pokemon won't be enough to take down that mutant. My back really hurts. But, guys... I think we need fighting type Pokemon over here if we want to survive. Are you sure, Mongo? If we get one more type of Pokemon, we'll get older. And I'm not sure we can handle that. I think we need to. There's so many fighting type Pokemon. Imagine if a Mewtwo spawns in. We'll be good forever. Mongo, you must be getting old. A Mewtwo's a psychic type Pokemon. Well, they can fight too. Turtwig, collect me some food right now. I'm hungry. Well, no, Turtwigs don't collect food. Oh, whoops. Okay, well, guess what? What I can do is actually spawn something in. There's no way we're gonna build at this age. Oh, yeah. My back's already aching. Check it out. I just spawned in a giant Pokemon fighting arena. Guys, fly to the top. <sighs> Why is this so high up? Well, you see, Wudo, this will be where we battle all of our Pokemon, but but in order for the fighting Pokemon to spawn in, we need to actually place down some boxing bags. Some boxing bags? What are we gonna do with some boxing bags? Well, we're not gonna do anything. We can't even move our feet. You see, all of the fighting Pokemon are gonna punch these boxing bags, and then they're gonna spawn in and be super strong. But Mongo, what if the fighting Pokemon don't have hands? There's no way they won't have hands, Axie. All fighting Pokemon have hands. Are you sure about that? Yes, I'm sure. I'm also gonna add some dummies. These dummies will be like the mutants to these fighting Pokemon. They'll hit them and they'll get stronger. Or we could just use Wudo. Wait, what? We can't use Wudo as a punching bag. That guy wouldn't survive a single punch. Bruh. Wudo, you need to help us build. Right now, you're just standing around. My legs, they hurt, bruh. Okay, you know what, guys? I think we need to add some something super dangerous in the middle of this fighting arena. That way, the fighting Pokemon can get stronger. What would be dangerous though, Mongo? You need to despawn all of your Pokemon real quick. This is gonna be too dangerous. Okay, Mongo. I'm gonna put down some flint and steel just like this, and the fighting type Pokemon are gonna have to jump over them. There's no way I can jump over them though. My back is too destroyed. Oh gosh, I'm gonna put on some healers and case they get hurt. Wait a second. Can you put some healers for us too? I want to sleep on this thing. Can I put my toes on this and heal myself? Sorry, guys. There's no healing our old backs. Oh, no. There has to be a way we can heal ourselves. Is there a healing type Pokemon? Uh, toilet! Toilet! Well, there is this thing called a nap. I'm gonna take one right now. Toilet! I need a toilet right now, Axie. Spot one of them pokey toilets you have. I'm trying to sleep, Wudo. Uh, toilet! Uh. Both of you guys are being ridiculous. A nap and a toilet won't spawn in fighting Pokemon. Well, then what will? I think what we have right now is fine. We should just rest all day. Wait a second. Speaking of rest, the fighting type Pokemon will probably need a lot of rest. So I'm going to place them some beds where they can sleep. A uh, bed! 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 Good night. Bed! Ugh. Wait, what? Both of you guys are really sleeping? Are you serious? Uh, I can't hear you, Mongo. <laughs> guys, you need to wake up. We need to spawn in these Pokemon. Toilet! Um, Mudo, I think what we have is good, which means the Pokemon are gonna spawn in, but we're also gonna age up. Do you think you can make it? Uh, uh, yeah, I can make it for sure. Oh my gosh, just survive one more year for me, Wudo. Three, two, one. Whoa! Oh, gosh. What in the world happened? Guys, I think the Pokemon spawned in. Look, we have a much 
Chomp, a Lucario, and also a Mewtwo. And Axie, you woke up. Let's go. Oh, I feel so old, Mongo. Oh, I can barely walk. Come on. We need to catch the Pokemon, Wudo. And wait, what? Wudo? Where in the world did Wudo go? Uh, the sign says something, but I don't have my reading glasses. It says, Rip Wudo, the best turtle. Wudo from 1785 to 2024. Death to no toilet. Are you serious? We should have spawned him in a toilet. No, what have we done? Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, then watch our video on the screen and don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.